This is Whiteside Mountain, the view of Whiteside Mountain off in the distance. Bugs float in front of me. Alright, so last night I got, I think I went to bed around 7, and I didn't get up this morning until 8.30 or something, maybe 9.30. So I got at least 13 hours of sleep, like 13 good hours of sleep too. Why is this not so far? So I got really good sleep. <sighs> Finally warmed up. My hands returned to normal human hands instead of where they were last night. Got they're no longer. Well, I guess they got the color back. They're no longer deathly pale white. I had three packs of oatmeal instead of two, just because one I was hungry and two I have six packs of oatmeal left and. Tomorrow morning is my last morning. So, I've only got about 20 something miles or so to get back to Oconee. So, I'm gonna do about 10 and 10. This morning, I didn't get started until this is almost 11.30. By the time I got on the trail, I started like moving. But my stuff was wet. I want to give stuff a chance to dry out. It just makes for an easier night the next night. My sleeping gear was all dry though. I stayed dry at night. It's just like my hoodie was pretty still pretty wet. And I wanted to make sure I would have it if I needed it tonight. Didn't need it last night. Well, I did wear it. I wore it to try to help dry it out a little bit, and that helped some. But I don't have a whole lot of battery, so I'm gonna limit my recording. There's not as much to see on, I don't think. I mean, this is nice. It's nice walking in, the weather is nice. It's warm, but there's a slight breeze and I guess intermittent shade. I'd like a little more shade, honestly, but yeah. Actually being so cold yesterday, I was hiking. I put my trekking poles in my pack and just pulled my arms in the poncho and just tried to keep warm. Didn't work. It, I never really could keep my hands warm. Um, most of me wasn't really cold, but my hands and arms were just really cold. Would not warm up. Um, the rain soaks through the poncho and onto my bag, through the bag. But luckily, I put everything in the, the pack liner yesterday morning, so. My food is dry and stuff, which wouldn't have been a big deal if it was wet, but it's nice. The less wet stuff you have. I didn't put my food in the pack liner today. It's not supposed to rain today. There's a chance of a sprinkle. It was like 0.01 inches or something ridiculously small. Nothing that would soak through my pack again. Alright, get walking. Save some battery because I still need my phone for the GPS. Okay, here's the question Would you stick your arm in this hole to get water? So. Yes or no? Fortunately, I didn't have to because there was a spring right here. And a bucket full of water. I don't know about getting water out of that bucket. But it's a pretty nice piped spring. I haven't seen any piped springs on the Foothills Trail yet. Alright. 
arm and hole. I went with spring. All right, I am at about the 60th mile from, I came from Table Rock. So about 17 miles from Oconee. This afternoon I was thinking, I might, I might just finish tonight and just do a little night hiking. Probably get my car around midnight and drive home, be home tonight, but I think I'd be worn out all day Thursday if I do that. I think the better plan is to stop pretty soon. I think I'm actually past mile 60. I'm getting close to 65, I think. Um, I've been wrong. Um, but there's a series of campsites around mile 65. So I think I might just take one of those campsites. And then have a really good night's sleep. Get up and leave and hike tomorrow. And get home a little after lunch probably. And I'll be well rested. And I won't feel like I'm rushing to get out of here or something. Cause this is a this is a really nice hike. The second and fourth yeah, the second and fourth day were not fun for me. The second day because I was thinking I was pushing too hard and was all I was just trying to make mileage and then didn't have a good headspace. Oh, whatever. Whatever that's called. I wasn't in the right mind. So I was kind of grumpy on the second day. The third day, and plus I was getting some swamp ass and... Oh. Okay, so I met a few guys hiking the trail the other way. And this is their second day. And talked to them for a while. And did I guess what most hikers do is like, oh, how do you like that? How do you like that? Talked about knee braces and um, water bottles and filtration and just dirty hiker stuff, I guess. But anyway, well, they were pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I'd say two of the days hiking were not so great. The third day was great. I felt great. Got a lot of sleep. Um, I actually, I think I did 17 miles that day. and But I felt good. My knee wasn't killing me and like it was the day before. But. This little stream. Easy to get to though. Probably through some branches. <sighs> but um, the fourth day yesterday was also kind of rough because it rained all day. Like it started around, I expected around two, but it started around noon. Like drizzling. I used the umbrella for a little bit, but I knew it wasn't going to get any better. It's just going to get more and more rain. Wow. That's... Zoom out a little bit. Interesting. Looks like we're hiking into a tunnel. But it just started at noon. It didn't stop till 6. And then like the bonus hour of rain where it's not raining anymore but you don't know it's not raining because all the water dripping off the trees feels like rain uh -huh. uh, I don't remember when I noticed it it was like oh it stopped raining yes but you can't like take off your poncho or nothing because it's really still raining 
with all the water coming off the trees. And then, you know, I don't think there was too much shrubbery that close to the trail. We're rubbing up against it, got you all wet at the time. I gotta be coming up to these campsites. Cause these campsites are along the river. We're getting closer and closer to the river. Doing these switchbacks. All right, and they, those guys said that they're, they were all open. I think one might have been taken, but there were some people behind them that were also hiking this direction. And I haven't seen anybody all day. Those are the first people I've seen since about lunch. So, when does this thing turn back? Oh, that's got to be the first campsite right there. I think there's like six in a row. And if they're no good. Alright, I could go down right here. But the trail says go this way. You're not supposed to cut. Every time I've cut, I regretted it. Like, oh, I could see the trail. I'm just going to go that way. And it's always worse. Now, it's not good for the environment, I guess, but... Because you're cutting in a new, unnecessary trail. But today's been pretty good. I slept in late, got way too much sleep. And it's been a relatively easy hike. That worries me when I see no white, but they're supposed to. I don't know if that's the tree or... I hope this isn't what they thought they said would be a campsite. But, so my plan is hike to one of these spots, set up camp early, go to bed early, and wake up tomorrow morning early and hike out and be out of here by noon, probably around noon. But I'm not so good at early starts, especially when it's chilly. So, but this is how a lot of the today has been, just hiking along the um, Chatuga River. I think it's the Chatuga River. Yeah, it's the Chatuga River. I looked at it and it's like, oh yeah, that's the Chatuga. So you can tell that way. No, I know it's not the Chattahoochee. But I got the armbands back on because a lot of sun and I've been soaking them in the river. Um, getting them soaking wet and that's been keeping them pretty, keeping me cool most of the day. It's been hot. I wouldn't do this trail in the summer. But, all right, there's uh, a limited battery life here and I need to get off the trail, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna end it here. Just real quick. This is the view of the campsite walking in. Not so bad. I already set my gear down over here. Nice view of the river. And then I already took them down like, oh, nothing but trash. Disgusting. Brews in a bag. Oh, that's, oh, that's coffee. But beer, P yeah, PBR, of course. Nothing wrong with PBR, but dipshits are drinking it. And then on a bunch of these little trees or beer cans and people just shooting at them from the campsite. I took them all down, threw them in that fire pit. One of three, by the way. The main one, then a smaller one, and then a stupid tiny one. So can't complain about the view. Complain about some people though. People are the worst. We got a neighbor He's sitting over there. But I think I'm gonna set up my camp and check this place out. Hey, hold on.